Hey guys, this is SF and more festival videos. This one is from the devs, the JP devs. They are actually monsters in this game. And there are four dungeons and you get vultures from a special serial code. And I'll put it down in the description bar. But you get six and then you get four tries. All right, I mean, you get six tries and there's four dungeons. Each one, uh, both, all four of them are extreme. My friend is going to be the new Dark Impossible. But uh, my team uh, team is Cinderella, Guan Yu, Uesugi Kenshin, and uh, Fudo Muyo. Um, Fudo <laughs> but, uh, but let's do this. But basically what he is, in terms of the new Dark Impossible, no damage wall, no gravity barrier, two double abilities. So this is, he's the first final monster to actually have this. Uh, his bump is called flare where it's like an explosion but it does it does stun them with like a very low percentage and it has like around 17k in terms of power and strike shot is like a rebounding laser but the main gimmicks here are mines and damage walls I'm going to clear one of the mine monsters first. Thank you, Guan Yu. Since my team's mostly damage wall monsters, I'm fine with leaving the kangaroo up for a bit, but he does shit out at healing. Healing walls when he's destroyed, and I missed the gauge shot, which could have killed this. Mech. I'm not sure if it procs bump combos. Let's try it. No, it doesn't. So it doesn't proc bump combos. If it did, that would be really, really cool. It would be really, really good. Random Meteor. Wow, his sh why is this gate shot like... Well, I guess it's the same speed as Yamato Takiru. It's just me really being sleepy and... Not playing. Just me being sleepy, basically. But that's first stage. Second stage. Wow, that ring of turtles. I'm just gonna move on. There we go. Perfect. Okay, battle number three. <laughs> wow, really, guys? Really, really? That would be really cool if I can actually get that get an angle and just go all the way around. But last I can't. <laughs> okay, bomb number four. Uh, Fudo Muryo, uh, or Akala. He is a power type. See, there's that stun from the blast. So, although it's a low percentage, I bet it's probably not even like around 10%. I bet it's like a lot lower. But it stuns for two turns. But uh, Fudo Muryo is a uh, power type, so he is very slow. He only has like, like 240-ish. And he is a bounce monster, so kind of meh in terms of speed. Although if he was a pierce type, that would be even worse, but you know. But yeah, I think the stun is around like even less than ten percent. Usually those like, um, like those period, like those low chance uh, status effects are like around five percent. 
Next one should be boss. 20 turns. And there she is. Now, the devs are based off of monsters that they actually chose to be uh, to be as monsters. So Chas chose Death's Coil, which is pretty cool. I'm gonna leave the kangaroo up for a bit until I can defeat the mine monsters. Oh, I hit Guan Yu there, but Guan Yu is a max slayer, so pretty good. I'm just gonna focus on the mech drones. Oh, that's my job. Why do you? I'm gonna go sideways here, just so that I can avoid the mines a bit. Perfect. And apparently, their voices are actually—they actually record their voices. And there we go. But in terms of uh, the Dark Impossible Fudo uh, Mule, his strike shot is a rebounding laser. Uh, I've seen some really good examples and I've seen some really bad examples of how to use it, so I'm not sure if I can actually do a good example. But there are two uses for it, of course. One is for mob clearing. One is for mob clearing, one is for like giant crazy uh, boss damage. But it does require some mechanics in terms of positioning for his strike shot. Let's see. Good. Let's try it out. I'm gonna do it kind of like this way. I wanna go as vertical as I can, but I'm not sure if the laser is thick enough to get to the weak spot. Actually, I'll leave it. <laughs> it's probably a bad idea to actually do it. Just because I'm pretty sure the laser is the same as a normal rebounding laser L4. So I'm going to leave it. But I do want to move on. And hopefully I can move on with this so I can actually use his strike shot. Doesn't look like it. Okay, last bar. Now I'm just going to skip. Actually, I might not skip Cinderella, but I'm probably going to skip uh, Guan Yu's strike shot. And... Fudo is in the perfect spot in terms of strike shot as long as the weak spot's there. But if the homing does not really hit the monster, then it's good. Just gonna mob clear with uh, Guan Yu. And going to use a delay on Kenshin, but I'm just gonna hit it a little bit downwards. Just hit it once. Hit it once. There you go. Oh, not the best. But I'm going to use it anyways. But what it is, is a rebounding laser that shoots... Okay, let me explain it first. So, it's a rebounding laser, but there's two lasers. So, it one goes where you shoot, at the direction you shoot. One goes, one goes where it shoots, and the other one goes to the opposite direction. So, if I go like this... It'll go, one laser will go down and one laser will go up and then it'll bounce, I think, four times. Let's try it out. But I'm going to go a little bit here. Actually, I'll go a little bit, ver uh, go vertical because it shoots the other direction in this, like the opposite direction, like 180 degrees. So, here we go. So, without weak spot, it's about 1 million if all the rebounding lasers hit. So you can kind of guess if it's actually on the weak spot, then that's going to be a ton of damage. And I'm going to use Guan Yu to finish it off. 
or not. Okay, there we go. But really good for mob clear. But it does require some mechanics because uh, you gotta predict where the backwards laser moves. Especially if you're doing at an angle and you're trying to clear as many mobs as you can. But that is Chuss. Uh, in terms of her abilities, it's the same as Death's Coil, but she is a fire monster, so you're kind of getting a fire version of Death's Coil. And of course, 100% drop on the no continue bonus. And in order to get to the final form, you need one Death's Coil to. It's, an, it's actually an ascension, so you need one Death's Coil, like one normal Death's Coil to ascend uh, her. And there she is. But what she does for Monster Strike is that she, is, she has a Twitter account where she posts up screenshots of. Uh, upcoming monsters so if you see me on facebook of the new uh, prometheus uh the Ol new olympian monsters uh event and i post like a list of the five star monsters and there are screenshots uh that's the twitter account i got it from so be sure to follow that i'll probably put a uh, twitter link on it as well so but that's it uh chess and i hope you guys like this video and i'll see you guys next time bye